Hey, nice to see you. Today we're gonna to talk about courage and the courage that it takes for people to ask for help, especially in the neurodiverse community. Here, let me swap these out. We'll make this a little easier. Hi. So this week's article is all about courage. I am actually right now sitting in LA, Glendale in particular, at one of my favorite restaurants, getting ready to go to an all day training session um, by Brendan Brichard that I signed up for a year ago. And I've been doing this every month for a year now, and it's been an incredible journey. And I'm reflecting on the fact and the stories that I talk about this week in my article are about courage and the courage that it takes to step up and ask for help and to seek out the growth and the things that are necessary to move us to that next level. And we don't always know exactly what that is, but one thing I'll give you a hint of you probably don't have all of it, but somebody else does. And getting around those people and getting access to that type of coaching, those people that have gone before you, that are guides that can help you, that's so critical. So in this article, I talk about that. I talk about a little of the journey that I've been on throughout this experience for the last year, but mostly I talk about really reflecting and connecting with my clients and my future clients and knowing and understanding what, what it means to not be perfect and to know what it takes in that moment to actually ask for help because it's really scary and it's really hard. And so every time anybody comes in contact with me and talks about my coaching, I see it as a, an incredible opportunity to help encourage and support them to know that coaching is a great thing and that asking for help is positive and supported. And even if I don't have the right answers, I definitely wanna help them get in a right direction because asking for help is the biggest, most courageous part of the whole experience. So I highly recommend you read the article, learn a little bit more about what I'm talking about. Cause I do, I talk about some of my own shortcomings and some of what got me to coaches, got me into therapy, got me into a variety of resources to lift myself up and move myself into new directions. And what inspired me a year ago to say, yeah, I'm gonna sign up for this thing that I totally don't understand and not exactly sure how it's gonna turn out and what it's gonna to bring to my life because I knew it was the right next step to move up and to level up. And that's a different, that's a different feeling, but I highly recommend. And my question this week for everybody is, where have you in the past stepped up and had immense courage for yourself? And then where right now in your life do you need to step up and have a little more courage to move something forward to level up. I'm Joy Gina, International Neurodiversity Coach, and so glad that you stuck by to watch my video. Bye now.